Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you the steps you need to take to set up Bind DNS server on Ubuntu in Google Cloud. So, click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing on the Google Cloud market. From here, you need to create a new virtual machine with this image installed inside it. So, simply click on launch. From here, you can customize your virtual machine. You can give a name to your virtual machine, choose the region for your virtual machine. I am going to go with Europe. Scroll down and choose the disk size that is required by your requirements. Scroll down even more, accept the agreement and click on deploy. Then you have to wait for the virtual machine to be deployed. And while it is being deployed, make sure to check the link in the description box which contains this particular blog post which is a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up Linux Bind DNS server on Azure, AWS and Google Cloud Platform. And once the deployment is complete, you can connect to your virtual machine using the SSH terminal. So simply click on this button that says SSH. It should open up the SSH terminal in a new window and you would have to wait for a little while for this terminal to connect to the SSH terminal of the virtual machine. As you can see that we are logged into our SSH terminal. Let's also try to access the virtual machine using the public IP address. For that, go back to your Google Cloud platform, click on this hamburger icon, scroll down, go to Compute Engines. And from there, click on Virtual Machine Instances. From here, you can see your virtual machine. So scroll a little to the right, copy the external IP, open up a new tab, paste the IP and type in the port number 10,000 and hit enter. Because this bind DNS works through webmin and webmin runs on the port number 10,000. So make sure to add the port number 10,000 when you're trying to access the virtual machine using the public IP address. So now to access the webmin or to bind DNS, you need the username and the password. So the thing is that while setting up or while installing this virtual machine, we did not use any username or password. So what is this then? So basically this is the password for your Linux operating system that you have installed in your virtual machine. So if I go back to my SSH terminal, I know there is no password set right now. So I need to set a password. So for that the command is sudo password without the ORD. And now I can set a new password for my Linux operating system which is Ubuntu. Once you have updated your password, you can come back to your webmin access portal and type in the username root and the password that you have just created. And just like that, you can access your webmin server. So the very first thing that you want to do when you have accessed the webmin portal, you want to refresh the modules. So simply click on this button that says refresh modules. And then come to this tab that says servers and click on bind DNS server. From here. If you want to bind a particular DNS, then you want to create a master zone. So you can see that create master node option is right over here. So click on it and in here you can create your DNS. So I'm going to just call it test domain or testdns.com. And for the email address, I'm going to type in like test at testdns.com. And to create it, I'm simply going to click on this button that says create. You can access that master zone by clicking on your domain name over here. So now you're inside that particular DNS. From here, you can create all types of records. You can create address records, name server records, public key records, and so on. And just to demonstrate, I'm going to add in an address record. So click on address. From here, give it some name. I'm going to call it users. And for the address, I'm going to type in the public IP of my virtual machine, which is 34.65.157.36. Make sure to update the reverse addressing and then click on create. As you can see that we have successfully created a new address record in our bind DNS server. So go back and if you see this icon glow up, that means that you need to apply that configuration. So anyways, that was how to set up bind DNS server on Ubuntu in GCP. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, then make sure to leave them in the comment section below and make sure to check out the links in the description box for the listing on Google Cloud's marketplace and for the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up bind DNS server on AWS, Azure and GCP. And if this video has helped you in any way, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for future videos.